Uh, hello class, uh, this is Ongen Kachi Ogu, and uh, uh, I'm doing my uh, video documentary on uh, Nigerian subcultures, and the subject I decided to choose was my, uh, my mother, uh, Patricia Ogu, and uh, I'm just doing a little short little introduction here just to let you guys know that there are cuts um, in between the videos I record for um, this documentary slash interview. Um, and this is for my uh, finals for the uh, sub uh, subculture. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and just let I'm letting you know that yeah, like I said earlier, there will be cuts um, that you'll be seeing, uh, wondering like you know when these type of videos takes place, um, and you know it's because the camera I have uh, the time is cut short, so I have to make. The video not too long so that way it won't cut anything out and i have to mash it all together in, in, in editor so um i hope you guys uh just a little heads up i uh, hope you guys enjoy this video and uh thank you very much enjoy Uh, hi class, uh, this is, uh, my name is uh, Onyekachi Ogu, this is for uh, a video documentary on the, uh, um, uh, in, in, um, interview with my uh, mother on the uh, Nigerian sub subculture, and uh, this is for uh, culture, uh, culture studies, and uh, I'm, I'm going to be interviewing my mom right here, she, I'm going to be asking the basic, basic, question, basic questions on uh, our culture. So I hope you enjoy the video. And um, why don't you introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Patricia Ogu. And uh, uh, what what year what year were you born? August 31, 1964. Alright. And uh, um, what uh, what's the um, uh, um, 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 I'm from the city that you were born in. I was born in Delta State, uh, Nigeria. And uh, where, where, where are you from? From Nigeria. Cool. All right. So that's just basic info on my on my mother. On my mother. So uh, please enjoy the interview. And here we go with the questions. All right. So, um, we're doing this interview on the um, our Nigerian um, uh, culture. So, the first uh, question that I want to ask you is, um, who um, who is part of this uh, subculture? Like, uh, um, um, like, uh, um, like, uh, let's say, for example, um, in your family, in your family. My um, my dad and my mom, and I have two brothers and four sisters. And uh, are any uh, are any other uh, like relatives part of your? Uh, I have partner? some step sisters and some step brothers. How many? Um, um, I have a four and uh, six step sisters and one step brother. My dad died in 1998 and in 1990. And my mom died in 2017. Um, okay. Um, and then, uh, oh, uh, about like our, our, our family, our, our family too, like, uh, you know, me, um, me, um, my, um, my sister. I have four kids. Um, I can see you, your sister and the children, your brother Alex and uh, your sister Ngozi. Okay, cool. Part of, part of, um, that's going to be part of, um, and we, um, we also have a huge, um, we have a huge, we have a huge family of cousins, uncles, nephews, 
um, ants from all over. Alright, nice. Uh, also, also uh, you know, try to uh, speak a little bit as well. Oh, oh yeah. Um, <laughs> you, you, you did, you did get on the first question, but uh, let's, uh, let's also try to uh, speak up so, you know, we, uh, people can hear us. So, no so <coughs> all right. Um, so, for, um, the, the next question is, um, um, you, um, you uh, personally, are, are you personally part of this uh, subculture? Yeah. I was born into a huge family and then I came to the United States in 1991. 1991. Uh-huh. Okay. Um, and, and, and you also basically answered the second, second question if you, were, if you were not part of the subculture, like if you're not personally. Um, um, and then, next question. Um, how um, how do you guys uh, in, 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 in your cell culture? How do you guys interact with each other? Like we have our native dialect. Uh, we speak a uh, Igbo language. Igbo language. And we but our the main language is English. Okay, so the main so the main language uh, is it's English. English. Right. Then we have our native dialect, which is Igbo. Yeah, the Igbo language. Okay, mm-hmm. so like when you guys approach, uh, when you guys approach each other, or like speak to, uh, speak to each other, uh, speak to each other. We speak, uh, we speak in our language. Okay. Which from Delta in the Igbo speaking uh, part of Nigeria. Cool. And then uh, on to the next question. Um, what what gives um, our Nigerian subculture our uh, basically our identity? We are very we are very proud. We are very educated, and uh, we have uh, different cultures, different dances. We have uh, different type of food. Um, we have uh, a way of dressing, and. Uh, uh, and, uh, and our food and the way that we live our life and uh, that makes us special. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's pretty that's cool uh, for everybody that I like to know. Mm-hmm. Um, so that, uh, that, that, that's a good idea of uh, you know, how our Nigerian um, subculture, you know, um, it gives us our identity, you know, to are different from other subcultures, you know. Mm-hmm. Alright, next question. Um, what what va- uh, values, or, or what are the values, ideas, and philosophies of um, this culture? We are very respectful of our elders. Uh, when you see an elder, you will... Uh, when you greet them, you have to uh, show some sign of respect. When an elder walks into a room, you, um, if you are sitting down and there's no more chairs, you have to get up and let the elder sit down. And uh, you bow when you want to greet an elder. And uh, we respect each other. Um, uh, and. Uh, we respect each other and um, um, we are we are very cultural conscious. Okay. Cultural uh, conscious. Okay. Uh, uh, then let's um, let's jump to the next question that will probably I'm going to go into that. But, uh, what kind of space um, uh, do, uh, do you guys uh, inhabit like uh, places at time? Well, we have, we have people who we call them villages. We live in, uh, we have different villages uh, that yeah. people live in. Yeah. And uh, each village has their own elder and their own chief. And 
the chief is the one that ruled over the village. And then, uh, then the, in, the indigenous. And then uh, we have our own, uh, uh, and then um, we have our own celebration and festival and different things that we do to um, embrace each other and embrace our culture and make it lively for everybody. And we, uh, the young ones go to school. Um, the young go to school and then. Uh, the old ones that go to the farm and we have farmlands where that we cultivate to make uh, from the food that we eat. Okay. Thanks. Pretty cool. So that's a um, that's another um, good information that you guys um will know and learn about our culture. So next question. Um what um what kind of a uh, uh, specific language um, I think uh, um, you guys uh, use? Like, uh, um, we have give, our, give, give examples and expressions. We have our, uh, our more dialect. It's like the, the people speaking area of Nigeria. Uh -huh. And when we say, uh, uh, I want to greet uh, an elder guy. He said, "Maba, Maba." Uh -huh. And I want to greet an older lady or your mom. He said, "Mande." Okay, Ma Mande. Uh -huh. And then uh, anything else like uh, more deep, more uh, more deep, deep language like uh, a good, a good, a good sentence. You know, he said how. Uh, like uh, when you said, uh, when you want to say, how are you? You said, Anere. Anere. Uh -huh. Then when you want to say, thank you, you say, no. Okay. No. 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 And then uh, when you want to say, uh, come and eat, you said, Yadiri. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, they, yeah. <laughs> and then when you want to say to sit down, you say, no, dialy. Dialy. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's very cool. <laughs> so, uh, that, uh, that's a few examples of, uh, you know, how um, our culture speak. It's, uh, um, it's, a, it, it's, it's not, it, 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 if, you, if you keep practicing uh, with, like, first time learners, uh, it's not that complicated to learn if you just you know memorize it. Yeah, well. if you have to, you have to keep practicing and practicing, and then you'll be you know you will learn it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah like um, you know, uh, one, one day when I'm uh, you know old, older, I, uh, I I also want to like um, um, you know you know I'm learning a whole a whole bunch of them. So uh, okay, yeah, but uh, but uh, really, uh, you know, from the past, I'm gonna pass on my grandchildren. Uh, I'm on the children, you know? <laughs> uh, it would really be pretty cool. Okay. Um, anyways, next um, next question. Um, what 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 are the um, back, background uh, uh, backgrounds of the um, members uh, of our subculture? Like, um, we like, are like, mostly farmers. Uh huh. Um, we. That's our main uh, uh, occupation. Yeah, uh, the background is mostly farmers and uh, teachers, and then we have uh, taxi drivers and truck drivers, and uh, you know that's basically uh, what basically the main thing is farming. Farming. We uh, we have we have a lot of food we supply to a different state so we are mainly farmers. Mm. That's really that's really cool. Uh, okay. So um, do uh, do uh, do the uh, these are farmers um, uh, um, you guys come from the same area right? Yes. We come from the same area and then some neighboring cities too. 
Okay, yes. but they are all, we are all in that, in that area, including the neighboring cities, we are all farmers. Okay. And, uh, but we have a lot of educated people too. Mm -hmm. But mostly, um, mostly it's farming. It's farming. Uh -huh. okay. that, uh, and we eat natural food, we cultivate our own food, we eat like organic stuff that we, uh, we cultivate ourselves. And then you know, most of them is organic. Okay. Um, then uh, that, that brings up the next question. Uh, do you, uh, um, because you guys uh, share the same interests, do you guys get together? Mm -hmm. We get together once a year. We celebrate the New Year festival. We are different. This is the continue, um, continuation from the video from uh, last time. Just a little bit, of, a little bit of cut two and I've seen two days ago. Yeah, two um, two days ago, a um, little bit of editing, and uh, we're gonna continue on with the last uh, uh, last uh, six questions yeah. of this interview. Your face is kind of cut off. My face? Do I need a like? It's like just your mouth. Huh? It's just your mouth. Oh really? Mm -hmm. No, no, that's fine. They, um, they don't need to see me. It's just, uh -huh. it's just pay attention to my mom. Okay. Right. Anyway, am I still in frame? Uh, a little bit. Uh -huh. Like your, your shorts. Huh? Your shorts is in frame. Oh, okay. Yeah, then that's fine. All right. All right. So, the last questions, uh, the last six questions I'm going to be asking you on our Nigerian subculture is uh, starting uh, with this question, what is the age range of our Nigerian subculture? Um, from zero to some people, uh, to 100, some people last 100, uh, but the average is between, um, the average age is about 50 something to 60 something. 50 something to 60 something, okay. So, um, just like, uh, uh, um, so, uh, so, so mi mostly um, just like uh, a, um, adult. Um, Adulthood, yeah. Yeah, adulthood. Mm -hmm. um, all right, then uh, that brings us to our next question. Uh, do members of your, um, sub, uh, of, our, of our Nigerian subculture, do you guys interact fr uh, frequently with each other? Yeah. We um, we have uh, we meet we have meetings where we meet both men and both women. Mm -hmm. um, different groups meet. This uh, then different age groups meet. The same age group meet, and then uh, we we have like uh, parties where we go to um, like uh, if somebody die, we all gather together. Mm -hmm. And uh, contribute money and dance to help the bereaved, mm -hmm. and then we go to like we have we have, we have baby parties. If we uh, we go, or if they doing like celebration, like um, uh, child uh, uh, naming ceremonies and all that. So we have different locations where we meet for different kind of celebrations. Okay. Um, then that will bring us to um, the next culture. Um, I said next culture. <laughs> next uh, question. Um, how often um, do you guys have like a face-to-face um, -face interaction with the uh, other members of um, of our subculture? Almost every day on a daily basis. Okay. Uh, is it that if we are work? Uh, we, we, uh, if you have somebody that you work with, you have a job together, or family members, or at school, or um, we're having like different activities that we have to interact, okay. and um, uh, or we have like uh, like uh, the one we just had uh, last month where we all meet for our um, 
national convention where we all come together is uh, our, the, our own culture from all over the United States, Canada and Europe and we all meet, met in Houston and we had a, a good time where we discussed all the progress that we have, is being made back home and what they need, the help that they need and we contribute money to help them for scholarship, medical help, um, uh, sending people over there to school, helping them to develop the schools and uh, trade mm -hmm. over there so they can improve their life and medical providing medical equipment and medical facilities where if they're sick so they can have the help they easily uh, they read the need easily mm -hmm. and um, and uh, um, we dance we eat our traditional food and uh, everybody lovely we all met for like a whole weekend it's like a, it's like a big family reunion and then uh, we all go back to our various uh, states and uh, people that came from over there in Nigeria also participated and they sent some magazines for co um, some news outlets for coverage okay. and all that so okay so, so we interact quite often okay so on a daily basis yeah and it also falls in line with like um con contributing to helping um like you know uh, uh, the underprivileged back home yeah the yeah. underprivileged uh -huh. okay that's really cool um then that will bring us to our uh, next question uh when uh, do we uh, does the nigerian subculture um uh, uh, in what ways do you guys uh, demonstrate your artistic expression? By uh, we do, um, we have our traditional attire. Mm -hmm. uh, we dress in a traditional way. You can take some pictures. I have some pictures that I took that you can add to the video. And um, we have some artifacts like some paintings and some. Art called uh, art cake, Greg, uh, carvings, and all that that we have over there that you can take picture of, mm -hmm. also, and add to your video. And um, our dressing, the way we dress, also, uh, we have different type of clothes that we wear. Like this is like a hat. I will do our hat mm -hmm. when we are dressing, and you put it on after a, a dress so you can see, i'll send you some pictures so you can see it and you can add it to your video how this is worn and how it looks when it's uh, it, after it's wrapped on your head we have different different colors this is silver and gold we have blue we have red we have different colors mm -hmm. that we use and then um this is like uh, the materials that we use to make dresses. Mm -hmm. This is like a lace material that we use to make uh, dresses to wear. Mm -hmm. um, this is uh, this is also like this is George. Uh, hey guys, this is uh, Onyekachi Ogu again. Uh, just want to show you. Um, what my mother was talking about when, uh, when she was uh, explaining about her art, uh, the artifacts um, in the way of our artistic expressions um, in my Nigerian subculture that they use. So uh, these are a few examples of that. Um, this, um, these um, actually like have meaning of the way uh, my culture expresses um, their body their, their body language um, and uh, you know in a form in, in the form of like uh, dressing and uh, dances and like uh, you know adventures so just a little on uh, small clip um, probably be edited and uh, 
just wanted to show I just wanted to show you what it, uh, what it looked uh, what she was talking about earlier in the documentary so um, let's continue on to the next part of the video yeah this is uh, judge material that we use in making a that we use in making a skirt and blouse, dresses, wrappers. It depends on the taste of who is who have it, the, how you want to wear it. You know. So we have this, and uh, I have some pictures that I'm going to send to you, so you can put it to your video and see how it looks when the complete attire is put together. Mm -hmm. And uh, those, that's like, uh, we have Ankara also, we have judges, we have our native wear. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to send some to you so you put it in your video so your audience can see what you are talking, uh, what I'm talking about when you assemble the whole thing together. Okay. And then that will bring, that will bring, um, so I hope you guys look forward to uh, um, seeing our, uh, I'm seeing what uh, my mother um, is talking uh, um, um, you need to with the with the native attire with the native attires. So that will bring us to our next question. Does um, how um, how does um, how how does a, a person uh, achieve like uh, status in your uh, in your um, Nigerian subculture group? Um, depends. Going to school. Making something of yourself. Mm -hmm. um, we have politicians also who have worked hard mm -hmm. to get to where they are. We have uh, doctors, we have lawyers, mm -hmm. we have uh, people like chiefs um, who have worked hard and built a life and achieved, uh, attain a lifestyle that uh, make them important or influential in the society. Oh, okay. So, uh, does, does that uh, like also um, include like, uh, you, you know how in your group, you're um, like the president um, of the yeah. group and then? Yeah, we have the, we have the president, we have the senate, we have the uh, house of assemblies, we have uh, the governors, we have, uh, that's in the government, um, the president is the one who is in charge of the country, who is the ruler of the country, and then the governors are the rulers of the states, and the senators are representatives from different districts in the country, mm -hmm. and uh, just like over here, it's the same democra democracy. Okay, so back over there too. So basically, the, it's basically the same uh -huh. um, flow, yeah. um, same flow of um, flow of power oh, and. Yeah. Uh, uh, the same arms of power and different uh, positions that uh, and they contest for it and the people vote for them and if they win then they um, they get the are elected into that office and they are there for four years just like here mm -hmm. and then they contest again and if they win again they stay but eight years is the maximum just like here also okay yeah. okay that's a nice, that's a nice little info to know about um our uh, our own status um, go, um you know going into this so that will lead um that's actually going to conclude our um uh, our interview mm -hmm. for um the um, entire nigerian um uh, subculture um project that i'm going for mm -hmm. so um, I like to thank I like to thank you guys uh, for um, enjoying uh, this video on this video and wa and watching. Um, Come sit here and say that so they can see you okay. talking to them. Since I'm done, bye. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, let me come into frame then. Um, that was uh, that was my mother, uh, Patricia uh, Ogu, um, who I just did a little bit of um, interview with. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and uh, I hope this um, this will also teach you guys a lot about our Nigerian subculture. So thank you for uh, watching this. My uh, my name is Ongyakachi Ogu, part of the cultural um, studies class, and have a nice. Uh
weekend, everybody.